Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Brandon Wynn, back again with Critical Failure. And uh, today's video is going to be another five tips for beginner players. The only reason why I'm doing this is because it's easy at the current moment. I'm still settling in, getting everything done for my house. Uh, I'm going to talk to one of my friends who's only played one game of D&D &D and see if I can interview him. And I know I was supposed to do a Morning Cane's Tome of Foes video last night, but I ended up getting too tired, so I'm sorry for missing that. But, let's just get straight into the tips. So I'm going to finish what I'm eating and then get straight into it. Alright, so the five tips are, number one. Wow, my point. Number one is uh, don't be that player who ends up saying they're going to go to a game and misses it, misses games frequently, is super late frequently, or just only dicks around, right? That is by far the most annoying thing that I can imagine. I've had a guy who consistently cancels and then when we called him out on it. He went to play the last game with us and then his girlfriend ended up hating my girlfriend. And a whole bunch of stuff happened from there. But this dude consistently would say, yeah, I'll play next week, I'll play next week, I'll play next week. I just had this come up, I had this come up. And then he lied about having a job for like two months. And he would post on his social media of him doing stuff all the time proving that he didn't have a job and it was just really annoying because the reason why we got angry was because he could have just told us the truth and it's not like he ever came late or anything if he ever played he played on time he actually got there early it was just really annoying because we tried to get probably one of the best DMs we've ever had come and play with us or do something because he he would play sometimes but it was just annoying we never really got to maximize our potential with him so don't be that type of player who's only there to dick around to not take anything seriously or to just be late or not come at all if you're going to be there be honest about it like yeah i'm going to be there if something comes up that's different but don't make it a habit right d and is really funny if you let it be. Uh, another one is roleplay. Try to get into your character's mindset as best as you can. Try to think like your player. Try to legitimately be your character. It's probably one of the best things I can say about the entire game is the roleplay elements. It's really fun acting like someone else sometimes. So why not do it when you actually can, right? So playing D and D and role playing in it, like when in real life is it useful to put on an accent, act like you're someone else, and genuinely get away with it, and not be called a weirdo for it, right? Like genuinely, I don't think I can name one time unless you're like a spy or a scammer. For a cosplayer, cosplay counts, but D and D is a really fun way to be able to act like something else, somebody else, and to be normalized. So, if you wanted to be like this Yankee-sounding fucking barbarian, you could do it. If you wanted to be this uh, down south-sounding fucking swamp guy that's a ranger by all means do it I'm thinking like the swamp benders from fucking avatar like that type of sound so that's what I'm saying uh, just role play as best as you can it's, it's a whole lot more fun than it is in words uh, next one is get into contact with uh people 
people that play D&D over the internet, like join groups or discussions about it, your friends, like, it's really fun. I've gotten like three people into D&D inadvertently just because of how much I talked about it. It's a really fun game and I promise you're going to enjoy it if you play it. And just talk to people. I've, I personally don't do the discussions. I'm very antisocial even over the internet. So I talk to very little people. And the thing is, is that when you are in those discussions, you're able to learn from other people. You're able to find out new things, come up with, or find new ideas. And you'll like have all these fucking neat, neat things coming right in and just landing right in your lap just because you're talking to someone else, which I should probably do now that I think about it. But definitely talk to other people within the community of Dungeons and Dragons. So ask them what their dislikes are about D&D. Ask about other things, you know? You never know what you might end up coming across online or in person because no one person is alike completely to where every game is going to be similar. So talk to other people from the community of Dungeons and Dragons to see the world of it because there is so much. Uh, another one that I just thought about ask about ask your DM about their homebrew rules versus the rules as written because you don't want to be sitting there and think something is a normal rule just to find out that it's actually homebrew and if you don't know what homebrew means it means something that is added to the game that's not written inside the rules itself so yeah at least that's how I put it in the easiest explanation to someone else so there you go definitely ask them because there could be confusion if you're going to play from one DM to another and you're like alright I roll a nat 20 and, if, and they're like, all right, you fail. But you're used to it automatically passing. I'm sorry. Uh, rolling damage, like I was talking about, I believe, my last video. Which is basically when you kill a creature with the nat 20 and the damage left over goes to the next creature within five feet. that is a homebrew idea. You never know because you could think that's a normal thing. Like that's where rules is written, but it's not to ask about your DMs rules is written versus homebrew ideas or exclusionary. Like he'll allow it this one time type of setup. And the last one, let me think. Learn to communicate with your players. Like, not your players, but your fellow players. Because in character or out of character, if you don't know how to talk to someone, respect them, and give them their due diligence, you can create problems really quickly. And I don't think anyone wants that. No one wants a heated argument at the D&D table because you accidentally, or they accidentally were rude to you and someone got in their feelings. We're just here to have fun. It's all that we're here for. It's a fun game where everyone gets to role play. Everyone gets to do whatever they want. It's a genuinely fun game. Let's just keep it that way learn how to talk to other players. Do not sit there and disrespect someone on purpose, out of character, 
just because they did something you don't like or just because you don't like them in real life. Learn to get along at the D&D table. Afterwards, do what you want. Once your D&D is game of starting and you want to have a fist fight, do it. But leave it away from the D&D table. That's all I got to say about that. Learn to communicate with your other players. Even your DM. It's very important. The healthy D&D setting will go a long way. And here's an added tip. Put your fucking phone down. I gotta follow that rule. I really do. I'm not gonna lie, out of everyone at the table, I'm the one on the phone the most. Number of times it's got me in trouble? A good bit. Not a lot, surprisingly. But a good bit. Put your phone down. It'll help. If it's important, they'll call you back or leave a message. Now, if there's a lull, or you guys are on break, that's different. But don't stay on your phone consecutively as if that's what you live by. So, don't be on your phone as if you're at your house doing nothing. You're playing a game. Play your game. Looking at your phone unless you're looking for a spell list or spells or D&D related, don't do it. It's really not important. Now, if it is important, like, you know, I don't even have to go into any details about that. But, you know what's important. Glance over text. If it is important, do what you need. But don't just be on your phone scrolling through Facebook because your party member has dialogue with someone because next thing you know you miss some important information and you're just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on been there done that I promise the DM was told everyone not to tell me what happened this day I still don't know what the fuck occurred in that campaign it was a major shit and I ended up fucking something up and uh, we got vilified it was my fault yeah. Anyways, that is five more tips for beginner players, even though it's technically six. But I gave that one for a bonus. But thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that I've been snacking this entire time. I recently woke up and I'm hungry as a bitch. Appreciate you guys sitting here dealing with this move with how little I've been putting out. I know I usually do two a day, but I've missed like a good bit of videos. Starting today, we'll get two videos. My girlfriend has went to go see her family, which makes me really sad, but I am eating my feelings, as you see. So, if I gain 20 pounds, tell me to work out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know this video wasn't the best. It's kind of more relaxed. It's more forgetful than other ones. But I do apologize for that. Please leave a like and subscribe, or a subscription because that makes more sense. Like because we want to know that you guys enjoyed the video. A subscription so you can have more content from us. Uh, comment down below if you have anything you'd like to add to this series so we can put it in a video. Or if you'd like to genuinely comment on our progress overall. All that jazz. But, uh... Ed and I want to thank you guys directly for uh, every subscription we got. I like to... Hold on. No, I'm going to finish my mouth before I say this one. We would like to shout out our uh, faithful viewer, Kyler Black. I believe I'm saying his first name uh, correctly. Kyler Black for commenting and for liking our videos and... Uh, just being an awesome subscriber, uh, we have been paying attention. I promise. Even though Ed's not really posting as much because he works, he's noticed, I have noticed, we do appreciate it. 
we're still working on the video, Kyler, that you had asked about. Uh, it might be pushed back until Ed is here, which is going to be Monday or Tuesday, which I know isn't within the within a week, like I said. But I feel like Ed and I, not just myself, will do it just as better. So I'm sorry for that, but I just wanted to let you know directly, if you ever watch this, that we will get it done Monday or Tuesday. I would like to do it Monday. I'm going to talk to him about getting it done Monday, but expect a lot of videos those two days that we'll get done. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.